new structures are springing up all over campus. The Legacy Library, the Hancock Planetarium, and now this. However, it's leaving many people on campus wondering what this large brick-like structure actually is. I heard it was a, uh, a bench. The walkway? It might be a monastery of some sort, or it could be a fancy bus stop for the basketball teams to arrive, the track teams to arrive, or just for the local townies to come and check out the library. I have no idea what that's called. It looks like it could be a bus stop. It looks like a little place to study. I really don't know. It's actually a pergola, similar to a gazebo, but with a horizontal structure. The pergola is a part of the overall concept that goes into play with the amphitheater that's in place. Um, the architect who designed the library and designed the uh, outdoor space had a concept that this would be a um, kind of an accent to the entire uh, project. And although rumor has it that its main reason for being built was to block the red doors on the Dyson Baudo Recreational Center from the second floor balcony on the Ricky Science Center, that is not the case. Uh, I mean, I've heard that, and, 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 and it's not. I mean, that wasn't the, um, that's not the ultimate goal of it. This is truly a piece of the architect of the overall project, con connecting the library to the amphitheater and throughout the entire campus. When completed, the pergola will be a place for students to stop and enjoy some conversation. While the weather continues to play a major role in determining the completion date, the school hopes to have the pergola, as well as the amphitheater, done by commencement. At the pergola, Mike Washabaugh, WCMO.